Hey guys, what's going on? This is Liam here and I've moved into a new place in Richmond. So this is sort of a, the inside of the bathroom, believe it or not. But I just had a thought here and so I want to record it using this because the uh, audio is pretty bad from the phone. But hopefully you guys would have seen recently there was a video going around on YouTube and Facebook and it was a medical interview by a lot of doctors and I'm not even going to say anything too specific, but they were talking about how they found a cure for um, the current, you know, sickness that's running, running through the world. And the video got about 17 million views and it's been taken down. And, you know, you can look into whether you think that's morally wrong or morally right being taken down. But they interviewed the, the main lady, so the black lady who had been educated um, overseas, not, I believe this was in the United States they filmed this, and then there was an interview following it uh, where she was being interviewed in person by herself out of her white coat, and there was an interview when she was wearing the white coat, and both times she shared something that really, really hit home to me um, about tinnitus. And what she said about her situation was, you know, I'm a doctor, I'm an expert, and I see people every single day, and I have used this drug that she was talking about to cure 350 people and I've fixed them, I've reversed their condition completely, so I don't need the fucking news or a scientist or any corrupt other big pharma person to come and tell me what's working. And I don't. And people say, oh, I want to see the double-blind randomized control trial to prove this. Fuck the double-blind randomized control trial. That's going to take millions of dollars and many years to do. People are suffering right now. And so, in her words, I'm going to go and do the right thing and prescribe people this medication and the government's blocking it. And this is so very much similar, not on the scale of death, but then again, in, when we're talking about tinnitus, we are talking about people who do some pretty unfortunate things due to their despair, which is put upon them, not really by the tinnitus, but the way they're treated and the things they're told about tinnitus, which are untrue. And people say to me, Liam, you know, where are your randomized control trials and where are the studies and what are your specific numbers and blah, blah. And I don't think anyone should be doing this stuff unless you have those numbers. And honestly, that's a really, really unethical thing to say because there are people around the world, millions of people who are suffering, who need the information I, ha I have, who don't even know that I exist and could get their lives changed by the information I had. If you saw a previous video, this lady called Michelle, um, she spent 8,000 pounds on fucking useless stuff um, from ENTs and doctors and unfortunately some other tinnitus people who really have a very closed way of solving things. And she applied my advice um, and I think it's in about three weeks and her tinnitus is nearly gone. Um, and it cost her basically nothing, next to nothing, okay? And, you know, if I, I imagine right now if I thought, oh, well, I'm not a scientist, so I'm going to get my... PhD and I'm going to get an, a, be an expert and I'm going to get a white coat and a stethoscope and I'm going to wait for it to randomize, blah, 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 all this bullshit, where in the meantime, people are having their lives literally fucking torn to shreds, okay? And here's the other thing. Some people just use this as an excuse not to follow my, my advice and I see it so often. I see people who say, yeah, I'll do anything to get rid of tinnitus and then they find out more about my system or they get into it and they go, fuck, this doesn't look easy. I have to change a lot of things. I have to stop eating the junk food that I'm addicted to. I have to stop drinking coffee. I have to stop drinking alcohol. I have to stop drinking tea. I have to stop eating chocolate. I have to stop hanging out with toxic people. I have to change a bit of my lifestyle. I've got to go to bed early. I've got to exercise. I've got to get sun. I've just got to stop using headphones. Um, I've got to stop filling myself with pharmaceutical drugs. I've got to kick toxic people out of my life. It's not fucking easy. It's a hard thing to do. And so they say, oh, well, I would have done this, but I'm going to wait until your, Liam, your million dollar study with your randomized double blind control trials and control group and cohorts with a hard finish over two years with a test sample of even, let's say 10,000 people so that the outcome statistics are hold weight. Well, guess what? That study is never fucking coming. It's never coming, okay? You can make excuses and lie to yourself, but don't fucking lie to me. Tell me that you're just too lazy to do it. That's all I want to hear, you know? In fact, don't even tell me. Just go find someone else's advice or go fund the research yourself because I'm not going to invest my money into a randomized control trial bullshit thing when I know that what I teach works. And it's working for a lot of people. I've got the most testimonials out of any tinnitus system in the world. Go look at my Instagram, my YouTube, and compare it to everyone else. It's the cheapest, most effective, easiest to access, okay? Safest and quickest. All those things indisputable, okay? I know it sounds 
I might even sound like Trump here, say like it's the best, it's amazing, but it is. Look at the results. Look at the people getting results. There's, it doesn't just work for one demographic, it works for all these different people. And I'm never ever going to spend my money on a randomized control trial because it would be a fucking waste of money. What I'm going to spend my time doing is building my website, designing the course, hiring people to help me to deal with the fucking astronomical workload of messages that I get on a daily basis. That's where my effort and time is going. And your effort and time should not be going into thinking, should I? Most people put their effort and time into thinking about what they should do rather than actually doing it. And I know that if you're watching this right now, this is actually not a lot of people who do think like this, but some people do think like this. And it's just so frustrating because there, there was a study, no, not a study, there's a, 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 a an amount of money, $2 million to be precise, around that going into a study to try and find a pill for a tinnitus cure. Good fucking luck with that. Good fucking luck with that. When you look at, well, you've been doing this for as long as I have, which is not as long as some other people, I will definitely give them that. And there are definitely people who, of course, know more about the ear than I do. But there aren't as many people who are doing what I'm doing and getting the results that I'm getting. It just doesn't fucking exist, okay? And the reason it doesn't exist is because my way of doing things is hard. It's not profitable, okay? And it's, it's not a churn and burn. You know, I can't get you to walk through the door, give you a pill and say, fuck off. That's the job, that's the job of ENTs. That's the job of tinnitus retraining therapy. That's the job of psychiatrists. That's the job of hypnotists. So my fucking job, my job is to get rid of your tinnitus, okay? And it's your job too. And you can't fucking give your job to somebody else. Don't give your job to a research foundation who just wanna make money off of you. Why do you think they give you corticosteroids? Why do you think they give you drugs with salicylates in them for tinnitus? Because they have no idea what the fuck they're doing. No clue, okay? The people who own the medical universities, the curriculum has been bought and paid for, and you are just the customer. Doctors are salesmen who don't realize they're salesmen. Some are great, as you've seen with that lady in that video, and some are not so great, as I'm sure you've experienced. That's just the way it goes in life. Some people are gonna try and fuck you, some people don't know they're trying to fuck you, okay? They're doing it on someone else's behalf with only the best intentions, okay? What is it, the pathway to hell is pay for good intentions. Okay, similar thing with tinnitus. So stop waiting for the randomized control trial to come out it ain't fucking coming, okay? There's too much money making pills, there's too much money in coping. Tinnitus is almost the perfect sickness for hospitals and doctors and pharmaceutical companies because they think there is, well, there is no cure if you never change anything in your life, you'll never fix it, it'll never go away if you don't change things. It might even get worse, but it will never go away, okay? Now, there are some people who it just magically goes away, but I'd like to analyze that and see, you know, when I do analyze it and look at it, you change something, okay? Um, but it's the perfect thing for pharmaceutical companies because you're just gonna to have to suppress the, the anxiety around a tinnitus with medications. And then what happens when you keep taking medications, you have other side effects, you're gonna need medications for that, and also you're gonna to need to double your medications somewhere down the line too because it stops working so much. And then guess what, you can't come off it without even fucking your life up, so you're gonna need medications for that too. So everything's a business, stop waiting for the trial, and stop giving your job to somebody else. It's your job to get rid of your tinnitus, Nobody's else. All right, good luck, guys. Hope you're doing well in this, uh, these lockdown times. It is quite daunting to be, I'm sure, if you're stuck at home listening to your tinnitus all day, it's very hard. Try not to focus on it. Someone posted in my group today um, a measurement for the noise, the noise that you know, you can measure the noise and see if it's going up or down. That can be a useful tool, but I would restrict it to maybe once every three weeks, two weeks, or a month. If you're doing it every day or every hour, you know, tinnitus goes like this, up and down, until it eventually goes down you know, to the bottom. It's like, let's say that up here is, is high pitched ringing and, and down the bottom is, uh, this is time and then this is volume. It goes like this as it goes down. So what's the point of listening to it every day? It doesn't mean anything. It's like poker players. If you look at them over the space of months, they're going like this, big, longs, big losses, big wisses, big, big, big losses, big wins. But the trajectory, if you zoom out, is always going the right way. So if you're gonna measure it, keep some distance and time frame difference between measuring, okay? Have a good day.